Okay, the graph of a parabola is represented by y equals y equals ax squared, where a is positive. If a is multiplied by 2, how will the new parabola look? They're basically ask, asking us, you know, how does it change based on the a value? Well, this is your a value here. If it's positive, right, and you multiply it by, um, excuse me, by a, a, a higher value, or a is greater than 1, what will happen is that this, this will become a steeper parabola. So, for example, here, let me clear these off. If I have y equals 1x squared, and then I have y equals 2x squared, notice how it's kind of centered at the same vertex, but it's much steeper because the rate of change is greater. And this is exactly how it always works, whether a is positive or negative. As long as a, when you multiply it by its new value, um, is, is something larger than 1, it will become steeper, right? steeper like this. And if it's a fraction, it'll become a wider parabola because the rate of change will be slower. So it should be narrower and open, well, so it's still po okay, so positive, if A is positive, it opens upwards. If A is negative, it would open downward. So when you multiply a positive by A, where A is, you know, multiply, you multiply by another positive too, it still opens upward, but steeper. So it's opening upward and steeper. Um, narrower and opening downward would be if, let's say, you're multiplying by negative 2. Wider and opening downward would be multiplying by, let's say, negative 1 half, some fraction between uh, 0 and 1. And wider and opening upward would be multiplying by um, positive 1 half. Sorry, opening downward would be negative 1 half. Opening upward would be positive 1 half. The idea is if you multiply by an A value that's between 0 and 1, the, the rate of change is slower and they're wider parabolas.